So yeah, the last day of January, we're talking about the warmest day of the month uh -huh. for today. But we got to get to the afternoon first. Sky cams right now across the state. We've been looking at Principal Park getting worse and now Marshalltown starting to see a little bit more of that fog. Boone's been seeing that fog as well. Lamoni out of the dense fog advisory, but look at Marshalltown. Yeah, we've definitely been losing the visibilities through this morning and we'll continue with that trend until this fog is out of here. It's slowly making its way eastward. The visibility is seeing less than a tenth of a mile in Iowa Falls. That seems to be where it's most dense and then underneath or around half a mile of visibility in Ames, Des Moines, Fort Dodge, even as we get further northeast into Cora. So that fog very patchy. It's definitely located not quite across the entire state, but some of us waking up to the dense fog. It's going to impact our drive as temperatures quickly rebound. We're talking mid 50s for today. 34 degrees at 9 a.m. Then immediately 10 degrees higher at 11 a.m. And then we're back in the 50s by 1 o'clock. So it's a nice steady warm up and even quick at sometimes. And you'll you'll feel it outside with more of the sun. It's going to be a very, very nice spring like day as we wrap up January. Now entering February, Thursday, we're going to see more of the clouds be moving in, more of that fog as well for Thursday morning, but not going to see the chance for the freezing fog potential like we're seeing this morning because the temperatures will be on the warmer side. Still looking at the mid 50s and low 50s for highs on Thursday. And then as we head into Friday, more of the clouds hold on, expecting mostly cloudy and stronger winds as an area of low pressure tracks close to us, but not quite going to be passing over. Here's the eight day forecast saying more of the chance for the cloud cover moving in for Thursday, especially for the early morning could break it apart and see some sun for Thursday afternoon. So don't rule it out just yet, but cloud cover definitely moves in for Groundhog Day Friday along with those stronger winds. So not looking at a great chance of rain or showers until we get into Saturday. That's going to be the better chance, mostly off to the west into the south. So not a great chance for the entire state. So it's just a 20% chance and going to be really holding off until we get deeper into February looks like for our next good drink of water across the state. As Sunday, we're going to be looking at more of the sun to move back in. Clouds break up and then to start off next week, we have more sunshine to look forward to. Highs still staying warm, upper 40s and near 50 degrees. What?